I am going to explain about SE16H join tables hope this will be helpful. How to create inner joins between tables using SE16H. The case, we have a PO that contains four line items, they have account assignment, A, for asset, so we want to execute the PO number, line items, company code, the asset code, asset description, material document number, movement type, all of these information in one table like this photo. Steps 1. Go to say 16H, type the main table, EKPO, 1, then click on the icon of maintain relationships of the outer join, 2. Steps 2. Enter a name and a description for the join, 1, then create, 2. Steps 3. We will enter the first join table, EKKN, and press on the output to select the fields we want to execute. Steps 4. We will select the asset number field, ANLN1, then execute. Steps 5. Select the line of table then press on the icon in the square to add table for join creation. You will see that the table name appears downside in the selected secondary table field. Steps 6. Now press on the create icon, page left down, to add the fields we want to use to get the data from the join table. Hint. This point is the like the spec we give to the ABAPR to get the data, in a simple way, we have a PA number in EKKO, to get the right asset number for a specific line item in PA, we want to enter EKKN table with PO number and PO line item number, so we will use the fields EBLN and ABELP as our primary keys here to the right data without any duplication. Also, you can use the fields here as a constant value to filter. Steps 7. We will add a new join table, ANLA, Asset Master Record Table to get the description of the asset number. Steps 8. We will select the description field from ANLA output, then execute. Steps 9. Like we did in the previous steps, we will select the table line and add the fields. Steps 10. We will enter the ANLA table with the asset number, ANLN1, and the company code, BUKRS, to get the description of the asset number. Steps 11. We will add a new join table, MSEG, to get the material document numbers and the movement type. Steps 12. We will enter MSEG table with PO number, PO item line and company code. Hint. Make sure of the sequence number for the join tables before saving. Steps 13. Make sure you have selected the outer joins you saved, you can execute now. Executed table. Thank you.